Hello, you will see how I create a piece of streetwear design art from scratch. Creating the main subject and some effects. To start we will import our main image. Here is my already cropped image that we will rework. With the threshold setting we are going to get different layers of light on our subject by playing with the settings of our threshold layer. Each time we create a clipping mask on the threshold layer so that it only applies to our image. Then we will merge each with its clipping mask. Once this is done with the selection tool, color range, we select a white area of our image to isolate it. We will repeat this on our four layers. By double-clicking on our first layer we will inlay it with the color of our choice. However, we must start with a light color first. And we will repeat this operation on the other layers with a darker color each time. Under all our layers I added a layer where I painted black so that we could have black areas under our image. With a graffiti brush. I'm going to erase on each mask of my images to give them a little texture. After thinking about it I decided to remove the wings of the statue. To do this I added a mask on my group of images and with a brush I erased it. To add a little relief I chose to add a shadow on my first layer. To finish the composition of my main subject I added this smiley face which has a spray paint effect. I will add a drop shadow by duplicating on his layer. By creating a mask I will add texture to it with a spray paint brush. Once satisfied I will choose a color for my artwork, with the Gradient Transfer Curve Adjustment tool I will apply a gradient of my choice. With Hue, Saturation I will rework my color a little. I'm going to go back to my statue to correct some details. I will add a layer of brightness and contrast. Rework my drop shadow. And that's it for the first part. I have my first element and I can go and work on a background. First I will import a black and white texture and apply a linear density, add, blend mode to it. With a clipping mask I will import another colored texture inside. I will duplicate it and with a mask rework it to give it the look I want. Then I will import another texture but play with its opacity. Here a background at 40%. I will enhance it with a luminosity and contrast layer. I'll come back and import a black and white texture image that will have subtraction as its blend mode. Finally behind my layers on new empty layers with my spray paint brush I will add some texture to my background. Once I'm satisfied we can move on to the next step which is to add some graphic elements and rework the layout and composition of my image. I chose to frame it to leave room to add more elements. To do this I simply used the rectangle tool and adjusted my shapes. I just imported a shape that I created beforehand with Illustrator. Once all my slaps were ok I grouped them together and in this group with slap style. I will apply an outer outline and an inner glow to them. With the rectangle tool I will create a frame on the empty side and a thinner one on the inside. To make it easier I will select the area of my second frame, create a new group and apply my selection as a mask. This will allow me to import the graphic elements inside and keep them within the area I have selected. Next we are going to import our elements into this group.
I'm going to create a new shape with the rectangle tool rounded off its corner. We're going to relocate it properly and so that I don't see the background I'll just add a black background to it. I'm going to use this area to make it composite with an image. I'm going to import that image. With my selection tool, get the area that I want to keep. And then come and place it. Add the threshold, setting that I will apply as a clipping mask in my image. With the selection, color range, choose the white of my image and come to mask it. Delete the areas I don't want to keep. To hide my line from my shape simply create a blank layer and with a black brush paint over it. To color my layer a little more by duplicating it in layers I will add, gradient overlay, and play with the settings. It is time to add a title to our visual. Once our title is in place I'll play with the overlay of the two titles and their masks to make it look like they overlap. I will then add a few more elements. I'm going to add a geometric shape in the right corner. To do this once imported I will place it. By selecting my area of my layer I will come and mask my shape. In the slap style panel I'm going to add a gradient to it so that it fits in my visual. I chose to add a rectangle with a gradient in my image frame and to superimpose some text on it. Then duplicate it and put it right side down. In my frame amongst my background I add a round shape layer to add detail. Next we are going to import some textures to make the visual more real. First I import a grainy paper texture with a superposition blend mode. A second texture effect of folded paper. To finish our visual we are going to merge all our layers and create a dynamic layer. In the filter window we will play a raw camera filter. Once the panel is open we will redefine the color of our image in the basic settings. Accentuate details and textures with details and effects. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video for more tutorials. Have a nice day.